Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular tutorial, what we are going to see is some uh, what we can say enhancements uh, APIs uh, that we can use for some basic transformations uh, that we always wanted to do, right? Like for example, let's say we are coding in Java and we wanted to perform some kind of manipulation on string or on some numerics or you know some kind of data basically and sometimes what happens is like there are uh, not enough apis or methods that are available in in the java sdk which we expect like let's say if you wanted to do some kind of small very small uh, uh, string manipulation let's say you wanted to uh, basically uh, prepaint uh, some some kind of string or uh, you know uh, if you wanted to reverse a string these kinds of API I'm just you know throwing some examples so in this kind of a scenario there is a very useful uh, library I would say uh, that is available uh, or that is given uh, that is gifted to open source community by uh, the Apache Foundation and which is uh, been known as Apache Commons Lang okay so basically uh, apache commons is something that is uh, that is you know uh, associated with this apache thing but what does this particular lang word specifies is so uh, you must be knowing right there is a lang altogether a separate package uh, called as uh, java.lang okay so this particular library uh, which is nothing but the apache commons library is kind of a basic enhancements to the java.lang okay the package that we usually import uh, while doing any kind of manipulation or like basically whatever its usage is so for this particular uh, you know enhancement some kind of basic things that we will ev eventually see in this particular tutorial the, there are lots of uh, various apis uh, that are been uh, you know uh, made available uh, as as uh, a part of this apache.commons uh, lang3 library okay and this is the purpose of this particular tutorial that i wanted to walk you through uh, you know what all uh, basic basic things are available in this particular library and how we can make use of it uh, to achieve certain uh, data manipulation i would say there are various uh, corners to this particular library like it it has some utilities uh, that will give you uh, string related manipulation it has some utilities that that will give you file related uh, you know operations like reading a file writing to a file appending data to a file likewise so we are going to see all these uh, you know uh, parameters of this particular library one by one and today we will start with all the string related utilities okay so uh, let's get started uh, let's first see how we can make use of this particular library and as you must be knowing since it is a third party uh, library there right? like it it doesn't it never comes as a part of your Java SDK right so uh, we have to add this particular dependency in the pom.xml of your project so let's copy this you can get it uh, if you just google it right like the maven dependency for the apache commons then you'll be able to uh, get this particular thing or i'm anyways going to give this particular uh, small documentation in the description box so you can find it uh, there as well so just let's copy this and let me open the intellij okay so here what we are going to do is let's add the dependencies and under that let's copy this particular dependency right so what does this particular thing says is the group id is org.apache.commons right then under that commons hyphen lang3 and the latest version of this so on this particular day the latest available version is uh, 3.12.0 so we'll be using that particular thing having said that once uh, the dependency injection is been done uh, by adding this particular small snippet of uh, the dependency injection we should be able to you know we are ready to use this particular library okay so here is a thing uh, we will demonstrate this by using a some sample string uh, which is swatek-talks.com and we will you know try to cover some of the function the list is very long but we will cover it uh, in a uh, you know one by one way 
so let's start let's add this particular thing let's uh, open one understanding strings and let's search add this particular thing so this is just a simple string uh, that i'm going to enter that this is string my string and swatek hyphen dot talks dot com okay now let's try to see this contains any and as you see right like let me just copy this particular thing so string utils right string utils is nothing but the one which we need to import here right so if you see this particular import then it is coming from the apache commons lang3 library right so we have imported this string utils and it contains all the necessary utilities to manipulate or to work with your strings okay so let's just copy this correct this thing instead of string i'll put my string and let's see what it is going to give us as a output so what we are saying that in whatever my string whatever value i have stored in the my string does this particular string contains the words or sorry the characters as a b or c okay so let's see uh, what it gives us let's try to store it it will always return a boolean value as you can see the data type if you see the data type of contains any right so it is going to give us the boolean value so let's uh, try to store it in some variable right i'll write it as let's say contains or is contains is equal to okay and let's try to print this let's see what it prints okay let's run this so it is building finished so it says that yes it contains the characters from a b and c so here we have the a here we have c but even though the b character right is not here but still it contains at least one character out of these uh, things that we have given it is always going to return us the true okay so if you just even though if you now we don't have uh, b here so let let let's write b and here let me give one more character which is not present in string now if you see these three characters out of these three characters only one character is present in our uh, my string variable which is a right even though in this particular case it is going to return us the value as true itself because out of these three characters that we have given us one character is present but if we give all three characters which are not present in this particular string then it is certainly going to uh, you know return us the value as false so here as you can see i have given all three characters d b and y which are not present in this particular string and i have executed this program and if you see these results it has returned us the false right that means it serves it's kind of a or condition if you just you know think in terms of these uh, and or conditions that we usually give in the if else statement right then it is always search for at least once like whatever characters uh, we are giving as a search terminology okay so this is how the contains any function works that it search whatever uh, string you are trying to search if it contains any characters out of the given list then it is going to certainly return us the true else it will return us the false okay now let's see about the now here we have these three separate separate characters let's see uh, if we give uh, the one single thing right like let me just you know copy this and instead of dby i'll just write in a single quote dby okay and i'll comment it or i'll just yeah i'll comment it okay now let's see what it gives it still says false because nothing is present now let's replace this d with what we earlier were giving a and this existence of a is there in this particular string let's say what it gives it is still giving us as true value because 
it is still time to uh, see if at least one of the characters is present in this particular string or not okay so unless and until either of the either of the character is present in the string it is still returning us as the true okay and this is for the contains ignore case so i'll just write it my string right and it has this particular word swatek right and let me make this as capital capital s so here my swatek s is capital but while searching i am giving it as swatek and here i am trying to say uh, you know ask that you find for this particular string in the my string variable but when you are finding that or searching that ignore the cases like it let it be the caps lock or small case or caps case you ignore that right so let's see what result we get right it says true that means the occurrence for this particular string is present here and it is returning as the true by ignoring the cases right now let's make something which is not present in the string let's see if we make it as s take then what it returns it is returning as the false because it search for the string in a sequential way right that whether this particular word s take is present here or not in the whatever sequence that is being given in this particular particular search string right so here if you want it's kind of a substring basically if you uh, get a exact match then and then only return true if you don't get a exact match now if you see all these characters right if we think in terms of characters s is present then uh, t is present e is present c is present and h is also present but still it has written us the false value so in this particular case it should also return us the false value because even though now cases are also matching like here we have the s and then t e c h but since it is not available in a sequence anywhere in the string it has written us the false value okay so this is the usage of the contains ignore case uh, method okay so uh, there are some more methods that we are going to see uh, as you can see here the count message and uh, you know append if missing prepend if missing we'll see this one by one but uh, in this particular uh, tutorial we'll stop here uh, where we have i have introduced you uh, to this particular uh, apache commons lang library and how we can add the dependency and some basic uh, methods uh, that are available as a part of the string utils class which is uh, specifically the contains any and contains ignore case okay uh, please stay tuned uh, for the next uh, you know tutorials where we will cover some of the more uh, methods from the string utils class uh, thank you very much thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you